in acceptance sampling, there is a um, risk of um, rejecting a lot because you're not inspecting 100%. Uh, if you inspect 100%, then uh, in terms of uh, rejecting or accepting, there is no risk to anybody. So if you 100% inspect, you exactly know how many defective products you have. And then you can um, um, always um, correct that if there is a defect product and your customer will not get a defective product. So if you think about the the ideal situation where we inspect 100%. Imagine that, so we have created this graph uh, using that single sampling plan. So the uh, y-axis is uh, the acceptance percentage of accepted lot, and then uh, the axis is the number of defective. Imagine that we have uh, two defectives uh, in the lot, and we 100% inspect. So if we have, if we, if we, if we find uh, zero defective or one defective, anything less than two defective, we 100% inspect. So point, we 100% is accept. So you can see the car will look something like this, and then it's drop. And if we find more than two defectives, then we reject. So we don't we don't accept anything. So zero reject, like that. So an ideal car look like that. 100% uh, inspection, if your criteria C is equal to 2, uh, the acceptance criteria C equals 2, then if we find less than or equal to 2, we accept 100%. So the curve goes like a straight line, 100% acceptance, and then drops immediately because if anything more than two defectives, then we reject. So this is the ideal curve. Now as you can see, because of the sampling plan, the actual curve is actually deviates from uh, the ideal uh, situations. Now, uh, how much we want to deviate, that depends on how many people do we have or for uh, to inspect 100%. Uh, so in normally there is in mass production, 100% inspection is almost impossible. Uh, so there are some risks. So um, this, uh, so who takes how much risk? Uh, for example, um, customers are willing to take about 10% risk, and uh, that is called the beta, the customer risk, 10%. Uh, so they are willing to accept 10% uh, defect product. Uh, on the other hand, typically, the producer who is producing, they're more like a uh, little bit more conservative. So they uh, they say if we we can take up to five percent uh, risk. So meaning that in our sampling plan, we can throw away five percent good products. Um, if you look at this uh, x-axis, uh, if we accept ten percent of the product then once we accept it it goes to the market so then it becomes some kind of customer risk because those we accepted not necessarily have the um, uh, good products Let me, um, so they may have some of the defective products and this number about uh, it's called LQ limiting quality uh, the the maximum number that uh, the customer tolerates. So this will be about, I would say that's 5, that's 4.5. So the number associated with beta, the customer risk, is called um, LQ, limiting quality. Sometimes it's also called RQ, rejectable quality, or uh, customer uh, tolerance, something like that. This thing is known in so many different names. Um, on the other hand, if you follow this axis, uh, so these are the acceptance. So it goes for the producer. Now, at this point, 90% accepted. So 10% was rejected. At this point, 80% accepted. So 20% was rejected. So at around 95% line, 95% accepted and 5% rejected. And that is the uh, uh, producer risk. That number here has about one I would say about 0.6 so that uh, that thing is called AQL 
acceptable quality limit so this is the number that the uh, producer uh, allow or tolerates is the producer tolerance and uh, customer tolerance and, and don't get confused with this AQL and alpha alpha is the percentage of blood that the producer is okay if it is rejected by the sampling plant this is the exact same as your type on error the level of significance same thing and the number associated with that that cuts the x-axis is the aql acceptable quality limit that's the actual number of defective products same thing for beta the consumer they are willing to take about 10 percent risk however their the limiting quality or rq value is 4.5 so every 100 product they are in the under this sampling plan they are willing to take about four four and a half uh, percent uh, defective um, they are okay with that so this is called the the alpha is the producer risk and the beta is the customer risk so see if I can write using my new writing pad producer and this is the consumer consumer risk um, um, I think I'll write it here consumer risk. so that's about consumer producer risk let me finish that 